Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend and Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's anything in particular that you guys want us to react to, let us know in the comment section below by dropping us a link, and we'll actually do it for you guys. We've got a second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse to win all you guys can head there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly vlogs. We also have a podcast called Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or the our second YouTube channel. And just enjoy or have a good laugh from some of the things that we talk about. Uh, we also have a podcast. We're also on Patreon, so you guys can feel free to become members. And we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much. And we keep growing thanks to you guys. So thank you for subscribing. For watching for liking for sharing for commenting and just sticking around we appreciate every one of you guys thank you i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this before we get into that please check out my blog morning coffee with funny i have i mean i'm going to be writing some interesting stuff i'm sure you guys don't want to miss maybe you just want encouragement head there because it's going to be it's just Everything is going to be positive things left, right, back, front. So yeah, um, so yeah, today we're actually going to be reacting to Allah will never let you down. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I love you, Allah. My brothers and sisters, the whole world will let you down. Absolutely everyone will let you down, but Allah will not let you down. Allah says, my worshiper, I will forgive you by you just asking me for forgiveness, even if your sins were as much as would fill from the earth to the skies. Do you want to hear the words? Yabna Adama, law balaqad dhunubuka anan as-samai, thumma staghfartani, غفرت لك ولا أبالي لقيتني لا تشرك بي شيئا The hadith says, O son of Adam, if your sins had filled from the earth to the skies full of writing, meaning if they had filled that whole space, that's how many sins you came with on the day of judgment. But you came without associating partners with me. You worshipped me, you tried. I can forgive your sins without even being bothered. It won't really affect anything at all on my side. So Allah is telling us, O son of Adam, no matter what you've done, have hope in my mercy. O son of Adam, your acts of worship benefit you, they don't benefit me. So trust that I will accept them from you. Did you try? Yes, I tried. Accept it. Don't let the devil come to you and make you lose your faith in Allah. You have faith in Allah. What is the faith in Allah? He is Ghafoor, Rahim, Wadood. He is the loving, the most merciful, the most forgiving, the most compassionate. That is who Allah is. Have you ever thought about it when we say Bismillahi? The first words as we're reading the Quran, what do we say? Bismillahi, Ar Rahmani, Ar Rahimi. In the name of Allah, what did He choose as the ultimate of the first two names for us to be repeating? What did He choose? Number one, Ar Rahman. What's that? most merciful the entirely merciful he is merciful even upon those who don't deserve his mercy subhanallah that's what the meaning of ar-rahman and then he says ar-rahim he has a specialized mercy for those who believe they will feel that mercy because of that belief and conviction when you're convinced with allah when you rely on allah when you know that the good that came to me is definitely a blessing from allah and the test and the bad that came to me is also a blessing from allah and the test then you have true belief then you're a believer. But if you think the bad is always a punishment, it's not, it's not. You know, we have tsunamis, we have natural disasters, we have death, we have so many other things, disease, sickness. A lot of these things are actually a blessing from Allah. 
Yes, it can be a punishment. It's all got to do with your own condition. Someone said, Oh, look at Allah punishing the people of Indonesia because of what they've been doing. And I got up and I said, it's my duty to tell you that that is not necessarily a punishment. What about those who died while they were in sujood? What about those who died while they were trying to read Quran? What about those who were decent people who died and they were martyred or perhaps killed in that natural disaster? Can you ever say that it was the punishment of Allah? No, it was not. It was the mercy of Allah upon them. They died in a good condition. How many of us would like to die in sujood? I would like to die in sujood. Yes. So if Allah took you away in sujood, no matter how he took you away, but isn't it a blessing of Allah? You'll be resurrected perhaps in a similar way. And people say, that guy was punished, you see, because he died natural disaster. You don't know. It was the mercy of Allah. But if someone was in the disobedience of Allah at the time, that's between them and Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not do that to us. So it could be the same disaster could be a punishment for some and a mercy for others, depending on how you are. And those who have survived, it depends on the condition of your heart. Those who have survived, it depends on the condition of your heart. Subhanallah. If you're a happy person, if you're, ex if you're always happy and you make the most of what's left with you, then you're definitely a believer. You believe in Allah. It's definitely a means of closeness to Allah. How many of us, when we've had disease and sickness, have we become better Muslims? Wow. So isn't that a sign of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It softened us. It made us fulfill salah. And how many of us, once we get cured, we're back with our old ways and habits. Allahu Akbar. May that not happen to us. May we always be from those whom when we're cured, we change our lives as well. And not just sickness. People cry for things to Allah. Oh Allah, I need a child. I need a child. And mashallah, after 8 years, 10 years, 12 years, 14 years, I know. 18 years I've known of one case. They, they were blessed with a child. Subhanallah. May Allah bless all of us with children. Amen. Even if you're not married, just say Amin. You might be laughing. Why? I can tell you why. When you say, Oh Allah, grant me with good offspring who will be the coolness of my eyes. It's like a full package. It means firstly, in order to get that, I need a husband, right? So that's included in it. Okay. And I need, it's like if you, if you don't have a job and you say, Oh Allah, help me to buy a, a lovely expensive car. Just an example, right? It means you firstly going to have to get a job and earn the money or something's going to have to happen for the money to come to you, right? So, in the same way, when you say, Oh Allah, grant me pious offspring, it means, Oh Allah, get me the best spouse. And thereafter with us, give us the good offspring. So it's an all inclusive two in one, like the shampoo organics. Mashallah. Move to Mank is hilarious. You have to love him. You just have to love him. I love him. And this was very, um, very good. Very interesting. I mean, how I like the beginning of a video. Human beings or the world is going to let us down. Human beings are going to let us down. I had to learn the hard way. But then I shouldn't focus on the fact that someone let me down. I should focus on the fact that I'm okay with being alone and I'm okay with having just God by my side. Someone that will never betray me or someone that will never push me away because of something. We should focus when we've got a good relationship with God, everything else may seem to work out perfectly because then we're never worried about being judged by outside people, being judged by our friends, families, whatever the case is. We're just not worrying about that. God is there for us. He's been there from the beginning now and tomorrow he'll be there as well. I really loved this video. I mean, and it was just, uh, it was quite straightforward. But then if you guys have something to say, let us know in the comment section below. I'm always glad to read your response. And the organics uh, two-in-one joke at the end. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let me know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to say. But anyway, so yeah, God is the only person that will forever be by our side, no matter how good or bad we are. And it's up to us to um, live by his ways. 
So let me know what you think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.